Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group I Round 3 match between Zapatsky and Spitfire. An absolutely critical match here, Zapatsky's undead, Spitfire's orcs, Spitfire has won the toss, chosen to receive. I can show you the groups here. Um, it's a very unusual situation. <laughs> it's been dominated by Surveillance, who's beaten everybody. And then Sergal is on two points. Sapatsky and Spitfire on one point each. So if they draw nil-nil, they are both eliminated and Circle advances. If they draw 1-1, one, one, there is a three-way tie for second place. If, however, either of them win, they will take second place in the group and qualify. So there you go. That's the situation in the group. Lovely green, black and yellow undead team. Also built like Dimmy Likes with some skills on the ghouls, a tackler and a guarder. And Spitfire has got four guard biggins. Attack. Oh! Excuse me, I just choked. Attacker and a mighty blow. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> I'll do it right. Try not, to, try not to die, Jim. So a nice kick there for the Orcs. Uh, pretty much standard team. Oh, he's gone for the troll and the goblin. As a twelfth player, completely standard. Done dead team. And I can tell you that. They are both British, both Spitfire and Zapatsky. Spitfire qualified through PC, the SAS League, and the competition was the Holy Grail. And Zapatsky is qualified from PlayStation through the MML, World Championship Qualifiers. Oop, there we go. Spitfire fails the pickup, doesn't re-roll, even though he's got four re-rolls, because well, it's against Undead and they're unlikely to... Uh, come for his balls too aggressively. Only a 2D blitz. Gets the removal on. So receiving is incredible here for Spitfire, right? Because he can just score on turn eight and then Zapatsky will have to either go for a three-way playoff or try to score early to get the win. And if he goes for the win, then obviously he's favored to lose. That's the way a blood ball works. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> he gets the loner. Gets the pow. Chains off the mummy. Only a stun. I thought he might have kept him in contact with the troll, but no. Nope. Okay, got the ball, no problem. Massive cage. I don't mind basing him, but the problem is uh, he's really isolated from the rest of the team, isn't he? Uh, absolutely isolated now, he's stunned as well. <laughs> Horse Santa from Exeter. Stupid. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Lee Gary, what a legend. Thank you very much. Staying fantastic for 36 glorious months. Nine whoo beaver pregnancies. Is this a rush? It is. 
Oh dear, probably shouldn't have made a rush. <laughs> Just quietly. Um, like, I guess he wanted a push direction, but he could have hit with the uh, blocker, couldn't he? Rushing to hit is a very risky business. Can we get a surf on the ball here? Uh, maybe not now. I'm not going to 1D him though. Couldn't he, um, okay, I'm, uh, this guy could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush, right? Could have done. And then he could have blitzed from up here on two dice and surfed him. That's what I would have gone for. Because then you've got, you've got him protected by the mummy, right? For getting counter surf. But I would have not followed, then you've got guard and mummy on him. Oh no, the mummy hasn't got guard, he's got guard on. No, maybe it's maybe it's not as good to surf him there. Taxling guy. It's a pretty nut sequence, yeah. Gets the pow. And the removal. Okay, well, it's turn four. Oh wow, he's he, okay, he just dodges away. Flip me. Flip me. Okay, he gets the pow, and then he gets to surf this guy. That was a weird, weird play. Oh, this is definitely not working out for the orcs. Oh, not good dice, though. Blitz. Gets him off eventually. Whoa, hey. Oh, he's got a block mummy. I didn't even notice that. I literally thought he didn't have skills. I thought it was a block ghoul. I, I did think it was weird, like now that he hasn't got that many skills on the ghouls, but it's because he, he took two skills off the ghouls to give this block. Oh, wow. Oh my god, he's rushed, he's out of rerolls. He's out of rerolls and about to get instantly two dice by tackle, so he probably should have made another rush. Even though he hasn't got a reroll for it, when you're going to get instantly two dice by tackle. You probably do need to make that rush. Yeah, anyone could just give up to uh, two primaries for a secondary. Um, Tree's got a guard catcher. What rush? <laughs> this is a wild game so far. Disastrous offense for the Orcs. But the you know the fact that the undead are out of rerolls means that anything can happen. <laughs> and the Orcs might actually get the ball back and score. I'm so good at blood ball. Wow, a bit risky going for the blockless block. But I'm not even sure I like it either because I don't really like scattering it back that way, but I'd have liked punched out of that like punching it forward and then clearing this on your way rather than pushing it back. I actually prefer going forward.
Oh, flip me. <laughs> Dub skulls, his rerolls are gone. Flip me. Makes the rush, fails the pickup. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a drive. Got to make some ghoul dodges, hasn't he? As much as he doesn't want to. Maybe he shouldn't have stood this guy up, right? Yeah. Zombie. Maybe that zombie should have been a blitz, then that would have saved him a ghoul dodge. And yes, he would have needed the power to clear the tackle zone, but at least he could have just done the blitz and then do this second one afterwards. So that he... Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. It's wild stuff, Keith, gotta say. Doesn't get the knockdown. Does make the dodge. Doesn't make the pickup. <laughs> Two ghouls stunned. Instant one in nine. It's the block one! It's the block mummy! The block, mummy. <laughs> Cass. Fuck <laughs> me. Two kills and a Cass. This is one kill. The problem with going for the pickup here is if you fail it, yeah, yeah, I like the blitz. And then like the big and all the blitz, it just gets it, so. Okay, that works out pretty well. There's not enough orc standing to do much here. And he instantly won in nines. <laughs> Flip me. Doesn't have a scoring threat. <laughs> a little bit, yeah, this is wild. I mean, that was the thing, right? Golgovia was already qualified, so he wasn't. He won't have been too bothered at all, will he? But this is both players desperate to qualify. Throwing everything they've got at everything. Gonna foul the tackler, I guess, to protect his ghouls. And you'll do nothing. Skulls out and Kazes himself. <laughs> Maybe ill-advised block. It's wild that he uh, that he just didn't give himself an assist, so he like he didn't give himself a block assist, so that he could have one more assist on the foul. Like I would have not have made that one D block. I would have just made it a two D. That's wild. We went from kind of pretty big favorite to like maybe not even a favorite now. He's still got eleven players, right? Three, six. 9, 11, yep. And still 11 for the Orcs, but one of them's a Goblin. Um, I mean, the Undead have to be favourite because they're starting with the ball, right? But they are down. Bl a Blitzer is now a zombie. And a Ghoul is now a zombie. He's only got one skill on the Ghouls, which is sure hands, and all like ball handling skills. And he's got a Skellington on the field. rot -o. No apple for Spitfire though. 
Wait, this is really weird. Oh my god, say it's on the mummy. It's not on the mummy. It's on the tackle blitzer. Right, if this is me, I'm putting the block guy on the troll where I get a two dice. And the non block guy where I get three dice. So I've got more, you know, less chance of turnover. And, you know, more chance of power on each hit. This is so weird. So weird to put them this way. So weird. Really weird to not put the block on the troll. Like, do you mean like you put the block one on the troll, you're seventy five percent at knocking over instead of fifty five. Like it's huge. You're one in thirty six to fill instead of one in nine. Really weird to put them that way around. Especially when you've picked the block on your mummy yourself, right? That's what that's what always surprises me with things like this. Do you know what I mean? Like when somebody like doesn't blitz with a mighty blow and stuff, and it's like. You've picked Mighty Blow for this team. Why aren't you blitzing with him? And, you know, he picked Block for this mummy and just didn't punch the troll with it. Like, different if it's position, alright? He's doing this for position. I don't really know what the position is, but he was doing it for position. I'd have just smashed this guarder with my ego, personally. Okay. Tackler back seems bad, right? You draw nil-nil, you lose. So, having a safety seems kind of irrelevant. You've got to, like, get in his face and get the turnover and win. <laughs> Five tackle, yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, instant two dice. In the, well, nearly instant two dice. By the way, by the way, two dice on the ball. Imagine if this fella was like here. Imagine if this guy was here and he could just smash the ball with tackle. But he's not. Do with mighty blow. Still hasn't moved up his tackle. Gets the power. Kaz, powering with mighty blow much better than hitting the tackle just quietly. Smashes a zombie. Alright, looking real good now for the orcs, isn't it? Bring this guy up, come on. <laughs> Howdy. Blitz this guy to get him relevant. Oh, the skeleton. Sorry. Sorry, I just say zombie by default, but yeah, it was the skeleton. Not a great turn for the uh, undead there, was it? Wait. I mean, okay, he's rolled a pal, but... He had tackle if he wanted to hit the girl there. I don't know. Well, there's all the pals here on the ghouls. <laughs> oh god, this is a massacre.
<laughs> Goblin. Oh dear. I don't know why this like, you know, attack that just didn't come down here or something, right? He's only got the mummies left now, pretty much. There's a pattern. Needed the pal, got it. And <laughs> then bases the tackle. <laughs> Skeleton Skellington ball carrier, yes! This is what Dimmy was doing wrong. He went for the zombie ball carrier, but the Skellington ball carrier is where it's at. Let's go. <laughs> well, he's already not hitting the ball carrier. But I mean, yeah, double basing it is pretty incredible, isn't it? It's the skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Blitzer just wanders around a bit. Okay. It's peak all right. <laughs> okay, zombie, bl uh, zombie mummy blitz to assist the uh, troll hit, and then we're gonna get a skeleton potato, right? Oh my god, a one D. We don't have the skeleton. We don't have the skeleton potato. Oh, you could just hand it off to the ghoul. Okay. I mean, that's not terrible, is it? That's not terrible. Somehow, the guards, all of the guards, are uh, occupied. Cars. <laughs> Hopefully, because he's AV7. No. Oh my god, we're gonna troll blitz. No, just a 1D. Does nothing. Oh no, it was the block, is the mummy, not the ghoul. Flip me. Gets him down. <laughs> Turn 13, though, he's running out of time, Spitfire, even though he's annihilated this team. He is running out of time to actually pick up the ball and score. <laughs> Two mummies left. <laughs> and really nothing else. Yep, yeah, go for the pickup. It has to go for the pickup. Yeah, that's good. That's good. It's, at least you've got it. It's looking like it could be, doesn't it? Blasts the tackler. Doesn't catch it. It's the 1D. Wow, well, that's the thing with the replays always go pretty quick. Who knows how long this took in real life, right? And they could have been out of time bank and their nerves would be frayed. This could have been an hour and a half game. That could have been torture for both participants, but for us, bright and breezy. Oh my god, four dice and the ball does nothing. Yeah, there were no dwarves in this competition. Uh, it just... So, like, because it's like NAF style, dwarves aren't great in NAF style, and they didn't get many skills, and dwarves are really bad versus lizard men and orcs, both of which were very good in this rule set. Okay, now it looks real bad for Zapatsky. Real bad. 
He's got a what, four plus through tackle, and then three plus away. No, he's gonna dodge four plus and then chain and then chain him out. Amazing, amazing play. And then four three. Out there. <laughs> well, the problem is, like, you you can't do that, right? Like, to be so, to be fair, right? It's turn fifteen. I like I like the I like this play, but it's your turn fifteen. If you draw nil nil, you lose. You are stalling for a loss. Is the play here? So what he had to do was like block with this mummy, and then. Dodge, 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 hand off, run away. That was the only play he could do, right? That was the only play he had, was handing off to this guy and then running away. Because otherwise he's just choosing to lose. So he got the pow, but he, oh, but he blocked his path. He blocked his path. Oh my God. Yeah, so what he did, it looked cool. It looked cool, this, but this would have been okay if a nil-nil draw was okay, but it's not. He just loses with a nil-nil draw. He just... He just chose to lose. Yep, I mean, he had to go for that. It doesn't matter how unlikely it was. He had to go for the, uh, the white handle. It has been a great game, that's for sure. Oh my god, two dice. Rerolls it, doesn't wait for the uh, big un. I'd have been really tempted just to push it in the big un and then hit with a big un, to be fair. It's turn 15. Oh god, dub scores. up the field man if he'd only if he'd only had a few more turns that would have been okay you can hope for a lucky scatter right born in the crowd oh he didn't even power well there you go a nil nil draw unbelievable Jeff <laughs> Oh, that wasn't the blitz! Okay, it's not. It's not a nil-nil draw. The ball's in the crowd. I thought that was the blitz. Okay, it's a nil-nil draw. <laughs> Wait, no. No, no, they, they can't pass. The lineman can pass. The lineman can pass. Okay, it's a nil-nil draw. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, oh man, so you've got to, I mean, you've got to feel bad if you're Spitfire there, right? The first half, he, I mean, he did expose the ball to the Blitz, and then uh, the second half, though, he banged out the, uh, the undead massively, and he just couldn't get the job done, and Zapatsky, you know, fair enough, he got out of there. With his honour intact, he did draw nil nil, but he didn't try to go for the win, and he, you know, relegated them both to a nil nil draw, and that is what <laughs> that is what the grip looks like. <laughs> Nobody won except the Skaven. <laughs> so <laughs> surveillance dominated the group on nine points. And Sergal somehow goes through with two draws and a loss because he scored more touchdowns than Zapatsky and Spitfire. Unbelievable. So, I mean, 
Commiserations to Paul Sapatsky and Spitfire. Congratulations to Fuzz Surveillance for, for winning the group. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.